Hello everyone and welcome to my very first installment of testing out the foundations that I got from Europe when I was over there about a month ago. And by about a month ago, I mean it's been a month. I'm so sorry it's taken me this long to get to reviewing these foundations. It's just I got home and then there were other foundations that I needed to test for you guys and I just... Blah blah blah, here we are. So, to figure out which foundation I should test out today, I went to my trusty phone onto my Twitter and I asked you guys which one out of the foundations that I got you want me to test out. Was that proper English? I don't know. It was such slim margins! Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever had it be quite that close before, but you guys spoke, and by spoke I mean you clicked the button the most times on the number seven foundation that I got. So this is in particular the Beautifully Matte Foundation for Normal slash Oily Skin. I got this one because I have oily skin. Granted, it's not quite as oily now that it's like full-blown winter time here, but you know, it is what it is. This is what I've got. Number seven products I feel like I hear the most about from British beauty vloggers and whatnot, but the brand has started to trickle into the states here, and by started to, I mean they've been here for a while now, and uh, I don't know why I waited until I went over to the UK to get this, but that's just the way things worked out. So you can get number seven here in the states, I believe at Target and Walgreens now, maybe it's in more places, but I do know you can get it in store in those places for sure. Either way, let's hop on to probably number seven's website. I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but we can read about all the claims and everything, see what this foundation promises to do for my slash our skin, and then we can get on into putting it on my face here. All right, so here's the internet proving me wrong. Apparently you can get number seven products at Ulta now. I haven't seen them in store, but hey, here they are online. This is the number seven beautifully matte foundation with an SPF of 15. For one ounce of product, it is $14.99. This definitely comes in more than five colors. So, hmm, this is making me think I should not be on Ulta's website. All right, here we go, Boots' website. This shows 14 different shades, which sounds a bit more like how it was in the store when I picked this up. Okay, so the picture on the left is not reflecting the actual colors here, but you can see it doesn't go too, too deep. Mocha looks to be the deepest shade that they have, but there you go. There is the shade range. So the claims are that this is going to give it the appearance of a flawless matte skin with a velvety soft finish and no powdery flatness. It's oil free and it contains oil absorbing powders in it to minimize the need for touch-ups throughout the day by controlling shine. It's going to glide onto the skin effortlessly and transform the appearance of your complexion aka it's going to cover blemishes and flaws and your pores are going to appear minimized. All of number seven foundations are apparently hyper allergenic so they are kind even to the most sensitive of skin. For best results just dot a little foundation where you need it the most, usually your cheeks, nose, and chin. That's essentially your whole face, minus your forehead. But then you blend it into the skin with a foundation brush in small circular motions, working downwards and outwards from the center of your face. So yeah, there you go. That is about it. I guess we can just go ahead and sing the song together, and then we can get on into putting this foundation onto my face. Let's test, let's test, hot mess or the best. Get you zoomed in here. I know, contrary to my usual foundation reviews, if you're new here to my channel, I typically do wear my glasses for foundation reviews for the fellow glasses wearers of the world out there so we can see how the foundation performs underneath the nose pads and also where our glasses tend to touch our face throughout the day. I've got a couple other videos that I want to film so I just want to not have to deal with reflections on my glasses so I will be putting my glasses on once I'm done filming those videos but for now contacts it is. I also do like to prime my face when I test out a foundation because to me I, I need a primer for my face it just helps out over Overall, so if you need a primer, great, me too. And if you don't, don't even worry about it. So there we go, primer is on, and as always, I do wash and moisturize my face and everything before I get on camera here, so that has all had time to sink in. But for this foundation, I did go ahead and get the shade Calico. From what I saw in store, this was a good match for me. We'll see, I don't remember. 
So it's really simple packaging, just a plastic bottle here. It's very slim, you know, it's just got the product name and everything on the front. It does have a pump, which I always appreciate. It's a beautiful rounded pump. I don't know why, but I do like rounded pumps better just aesthetically. It really doesn't make a difference, I don't think. Okay, so, ooh, wow, really? Dang, this foundation has a shelf life of 24 months. I feel like most foundations have a shelf life of 12 months, so that's pretty dang good. Let's go ahead. Don't focus on my face. Okay, squirt. <laughs> Please tell me this is just like, because this is new. This pump is horrible. It like doesn't. <laughs> okay, so that pump is not fantastic, but it's got a foundation smell. I don't know. It's just, it's a foundation smell. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on one half of my face. And of course, when it comes to applying the foundation, I used to do my foundation application in circular motions, but then people here on the internet would yell at me. And by yell at me, I mean they would leave me a comment saying that you're not supposed to do circular motions. You're supposed to do downward strokes. So now I've gotten in the habit of doing that, but now the Boots website is telling me otherwise. <laughs> I just, I can't win, you guys. I try my best. I hope you all know that. But, wow. Okay, so that really is like a powdery, velvety matte finish. And it's just emphasizing how dry my nose skin is right now. That's beautiful. But oh well, there's nothing I can do about it at this point. Let's see. This pump is making me so sad, you guys. It's like, if it even pumps anything out, it's not like, oh, the same amount every time. Maybe that's just because I'm getting started here. But, okay, so that was way too much for my forehead. But, womp womp, we'll do it anyways. It like dries down instantly. Not like dries down like it's unblendable instantly. I just mean like the finish is an instant matte. Like ultra instant matte. It's very lightweight. I feel like you can definitely see the difference between the one side with the foundation and the side without. I don't remember it saying what if it was like a full coverage or not, but I feel like it gave like a medium coverage-ish. So I'm gonna go ahead, put this on the other side of my face. Oh, okay, I think maybe the pump just needed to get started. When it goes on, like when you first dab it onto your face like this, it's like, it feels moisturizing. Like it's got that kind of cooling, moisturizing feeling. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and use a sponge for this side of my face just so we can see the difference in application and everything even though the website told me to use a brush i also didn't follow its instructions when it said to use circular motions so hey, hey. i can't tell which side i like better they're pretty comparable if you ask me i feel like on my nose i definitely like the sponge side better but that also might just be because my nose is a bit drier on that side. So yeah, there you go. There's what it looks like. I think it looks nice right now. Just because I do have some left on my finger, I'm curious to see if this builds up at all. So I'm just gonna dot this on my face and then blend that in. Ta-da! So I do think it was able to build up on itself and everything just fine. Don't think it made it look cakey or anything. It just gave it extra coverage. It really does have a matte, 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 matte finish. There is absolutely no shine or anything, but I don't think that the matteness makes my skin look flat or dull or anything. It's still got a bit of a luminescence to it, so my skin just looks really fresh, at least I think right now, and it feels very soft, very smooth, very lightweight, so yeah. I think things are looking all right as of right now. I am going to go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup, do my hair, etc., etc. 
but I will be back in just a second here on YouTube land to check in with you guys. Hey! Ding! Alright, so here we go. Makeup is done. I think the foundation, like, I'm so excited. I'm ready to get you zoomed in already. I feel like the foundation looks really good, you guys. God, I swear in real life my eyeshadow looked blended and now I'm getting on camera and I'm like, ooh, are we sure? <laughs> we as if I'm multiple people. Kind of, I mean, I am a Gemini. Hopefully you can see, I mean, I think it looks really good on my skin. Like it looks ultra matte, but I don't think in any way does it look ultra gross. It doesn't look cakey. I don't think it looks dry. At least I haven't found any spots where it looks ultra dry, except for a little baby dry patch that I have on my nose, but like that's not the foundation's fault. It could honestly look a lot worse than how it's looking on my nose. And I just think it gives like a beautiful satiny finish and whatnot, you know? Right? Don't you? No? Maybe? I don't know you guys, I'm I'm liking it so far. And I did already go ahead and take the flash photography test, so boo -boo -boo, here you go on the screen. It's got quite a white flashback, I think, at least when I was looking in my viewfinder at the photo to see if I didn't look too demented. I feel like people tell me I'm really photogenic, but I'm like, mm, you don't see the discarded photos, do you? No, you don't, I delete those ASAP. It looked like it had a very, very, very white flashback. So maybe if you're gonna be in flash photos, I wouldn't recommend this foundation, but I think in real life, it looks real good. I think that's about it. I think that does it for now. I've got a typical work day here. I'm filming lots of videos, like I mentioned. And by lots, I mean three, but that's a lot for one day, at least if you ask me. It is my trash TV night with my mom, so I'm going over to her place, have dinner, and watch a lot of trashy TV, do some cross-stitch, that sort of thing, just hang out. And then I'm gonna be coming home, getting some more work done, doing some editing and whatnot. And I also am hoping to wrap Christmas presents tonight. I don't have to, but I would like to. So yeah, I mean, just a typical kind of boring day, but like a good day, I'm assuming. It feels like a good day, at least so far. I'm excited to bring you guys along with me to see how this foundation ends up wearing. I'm especially curious because I do have a slight runny nose going on, so I'm probably gonna have to blow my nose at least once or twice today. So I'm curious to see if this ends up being all transfery and whatnot, but yeah, overall, Rambling aside, like I said, I am excited to take you guys along with me for my day. We will see how this foundation ends up doing. It is currently just about quarter to one in the afternoon. I will check in with you guys if I need to blot at some point. No, it's a foundation test, so I will be checking in with you guys every few hours so we can see how the foundation is looking. If I do need to blot my face at that point, I will blot my face at that point. But otherwise, yeah, I think that's about it. So I will just see you all in a few hours here. Bye! It is check-in time here. I just got done filming all of my other video stuff that I needed to film today. Whew -whew. It is currently 4.44 in the evening slash afternoon. So my foundation, let's take a look at it. I haven't taken a look at it, but it feels really good. can hardly, hardly tell I have foundation on in terms of the weight of it. It is very lightweight. I feel like, I mean, on camera, I doubt you're gonna be able to tell. Let's see, maybe if I turn this down a little bit. It's starting to look a little bit cakey around here, which is where I tend to look cakey if I ever do start to look cakey, but otherwise, probably zoom you in more. Otherwise, I feel like it looks good. It still looks really matte. It's really smooth, like really silky, silky soft. And yeah, I mean, overall, I think it's looking pretty darn good here. That's gonna do it for this check-in. I'm gonna head on over to my mom's house and I will check in with you all in a few hours. Or if it's like this time, it'll be a bit more than a few hours, but it'll be very soon in any case here on YouTube land. So I'll see you all very soon. Bye. <laughs> Finally, the end of the night. 
Yay! It is currently 3.22 in the morning. You know that feeling when you've been working on something and you're just like working so intently on that something and then you lose all track of time but like you are so tired and you can definitely tell that time is going by even though it's going by very very slowly and then you're done and you're like I get to go to bed now? Yeah, that's that's me after just working on a project for like the past five hours. So, woo! Has it really been five? Four hours, the past four hours. So I am so sorry that I have not checked in since this afternoon. I haven't felt the need to. It's kind of like with the Smashbox foundation that I just tested out. I haven't felt greasy in the slightest and like my foundation hasn't changed in the slightest up until about maybe a half an hour ago. I suppose you want to see close up. I would also like to see what this looks like underneath my glasses. I mean, it looks like it wore off a little bit, but like not in a messy sort of way or anything. But as you can see, I mean, I am hardly even dewy looking. I definitely don't look greasy like I typically would at this point of the night. It did wear off on my chin a bit here. When I'm working on my computer, I'm usually sitting like like this so that's probably why so I almost feel like that should be ignored it's maybe looking a little cakey around my mustache area but I don't think it's too too bad I think the thing that I'm just starting to notice is that when I do touch it it comes right off now that my oils are starting to come through. But aside from that, I mean, if I'm not smearing around, it just is my oils that come off on my hand. Let's see, now I'm curious if I were to use an actual blotting sheet, like a civilized grease ball of a human being, it comes off on the blotting sheet. Uh, quite a lot, actually. <laughs> Oh no, oh no. See like on my nose where it lifted it off and my forehead, I can never tell with these blurring beauty diva ring lights, but can you see the foundation that came off on the sheet there? Oh no. So that is really too bad that this is not transfer proof once your oils come through. But the fact of the matter is my oils didn't start coming through until about an hour ago, like I said. This foundation lasted, what, like 13 hours-ish? 13, 14 hours before it started even letting my oils come through. And that's when it started being transfer -y. So I mean, unless you're planning on wearing this for more than half of a day, like actually half of 24 hours out of the day, I don't think you have to worry about the transferring at all. This did a fantastic job of controlling my oils, making me look matte but not cakey and dry. It feels so silky soft, like so soft. At one point tonight my mom, I don't remember, I think it's like after a hug or something, she ended up like accidentally touching my face or something and she was like, oh your skin feels so soft. I'm like, yeah that's the foundation. Real nice, huh? So truly I am pleased as a pickle. Can you please? Pickles? Don't, 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 don't take that any further. But like I am very pleased. I think this foundation did great and it's not at too bad of a price. I mean, it's higher by like a couple bucks compared to some drugstore foundations, but overall, I mean, it really wasn't that much more expensive. And I think unless you are planning on doing flash photography, because I personally didn't think it looked too great in the flash photo, just in the sense that it had a huge white cast on my face. Otherwise, my skin looked flawless in the photo. And then also, unless you're planning on wearing this for months, much, 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 much longer than 12, 13 hours, I would say this is A-OK -okay for people with oily skin. Maybe combo skin, I'm not so sure. I really don't feel like this would look good on dry skin at all. And then of course, I am curious to see once summer rolls around again and I am sweaty again, like constantly sweaty, I'm curious to see how this ends up playing with sweat compared to oils. But I mean, for now, 
tis the season buy yourself a new foundation if you are a fellow oily skinned person like myself i think this did great and i am really really excited to see how it keeps on wearing you know in the future here this is definitely one that i will keep on testing out so yeah as always i just hope you guys found this review helpful and or enjoyable if you did please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below i would really appreciate it and it would really help out my channel and if you're new here Hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!